Once you've completed your four sketches, it's time for you to disassemble your can. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is poke a hole as close to the edge of the curve as you can, and then the same thing on this other end. I would start at the top here and press through and then start cutting. Now you'll notice as I cut, this is starting to rip. So I want to turn around and go the other direction to keep it from tearing more. And I'll cut that ridge off all the way around right along that edge. I can trim this later in just a minute to make it smoother. Okay, once you've cut that off, the next thing to do is to go down to the bottom, to the ridge here at the bottom of the can, and then you want to start cutting along the edge of that ridge. And if you hold this, you'll notice that it starts to unfold as you cut it. And then you'll end up with a piece of aluminum that is ready to be used for your um, project. The next thing that you'll need to do is to wipe off any moisture and trim off any sharp edges that might be on your can so that it doesn't, your fingers don't get snagged against it. And then you're going to use a sheet of white paper and lay your can out on it and trace around it with a pencil so you know exactly what shape or what space you, work, you have to work with here. And that's my shape. Using the photograph, not your sketch, but the photograph, you're going to begin working on your sketch. Try to make your sketch as large as the entire Once page. The sketch is complete. You're now ready to attach it to the aluminum. So you will take the aluminum, put it onto the can, make sure that when you place it on there you're um, lining it up and I don't know if you can see through this but you can see the aluminum it's darker where it's through there. Line it up with your lines and we will tape that tape it down so that it doesn't move around. Tape it onto the back of the paper. Now you're ready to start the drawing. You need a, a magazine and there is a bin full of magazines at the back of the room. This is to give you a soft surface and then you lay your drawing with the metal attached to the back side on the magazine. And you're going to start by drawing your lines and you want to press really hard on these lines and you'll feel it denting into the can. Pressing really, really firmly. Once you've completed that, 
you can remove the can from the paper and you should be able to see the drawing through the paper. I mean through the um, aluminum. And what you're going to do now is you're going to be using a metal tooling tool. It's an embossing tool. Looks like this. You'll have to check them out with me and then check them in at the end of class. But you can draw on here kind of I'm making little marks to create fur where the eye is. I can just shade inside, pressing hard. You want to be super careful that you're not pressing so hard that you're um, breaking through the aluminum. And what I usually do is I have everybody test how hard that is how many times you have to go over it before you actually break through. So you want to make sure that you're not doing that like where your animal isn't. Don't do it on the animal, but you can test how strong the aluminum is so you kind of have an idea of what it is you need to do. I'm shading in to make the animal stand out. If it has fur, I'm making the shading is little lines of fur and I flip it over and take a look at what I've done and then I can <clears throat> flip it back um, and continue working until I get the entire animal um, completed and ready to be cut out. Just continue working with making sure that the texture shows up. And as I do this, he's going to start to pop out of the, the aluminum. Okay? Once you've completed your metal sculpture, the tooling part of it, it's time for you to cut it out. And this can get a little bit tricky because you want to cut off pieces as you go and then you can go back in and trim that later. If you don't do this, you're going to find that it's really difficult to get around some of the corners that you need to get around. Cut right along the edge where you finished it up. and this will help keep it dimensional. Now when I get ready to turn this corner here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that piece off. And I can come at that from a different direction. Rather than try and turn my scissors around that corner because it's really difficult to get there. And especially when you get ready to go up in between things like appendages up in between the tail and the foot here I'm going to cut one section and then I'll cut in from the other side here Doing my best to keep it nice and clean and even. Then I can go back on the other side and get the rest of this. It's very difficult to get good cuts sometimes, so just have to go kind of slowly off big chunks. I'm going to use some heavy duty all purpose glue called E6000 and a couple of paper clips to um, attach this to the board. I'm going to flip it over, put some of this glue here at the feet 
and the tails. That should hold it fairly well. And line it up on the board. And I want to make sure that this stays put. So I put a paper clip there. And I'm going to put a paper clip diagonally across the tail and the feet. And that should hold it down, let it dry overnight and my relief sculpt metal sculpture will be complete.